here's another video that I hope will provide you with some type of guidance as to whether or not you're going to have any slope in this pipe here, whether you're going to have a quarter of an inch per foot. And since I've already laid out everything and I know the answer, you're going to end up with about 3 16ths of an inch per foot slope in this pipe here. So let's go ahead and take a look at my model here. I have drawn a line. This is the line of either the center of the pipe or the bottom of the pipe, or if assembled in the field, something close to that. So here we have a quarter of an inch rise in 12 inches or one foot. That's the angle of this line here. So the center line going to the toilet, this line here is sloping at a quarter of an inch per foot right on the money in this scaled model, along with the double Y fitting. Now, if we go over to this pipe here, which is basically the pipe in question, we're going to end up with about 3 sixteenths of an inch over here. And it will not be sloping a quarter of an inch per foot. And I don't know if you can actually see it, but the upper line represents a quarter of an inch per foot. The lower line here, this line here, is the slope of the drain pipe. After it came off, of the double Y at a 45 degree angle. So in 12 inches, this line right here, the line of the pipe, isn't a quarter of an inch per foot. I repeat, it is not a quarter of an inch per foot and could actually create a problem with your building inspector. However, if we make some modifications and come off of this with a street 45, then we could simply rotate this up a little bit to create a quarter of an inch per foot slope for the rest of the drain line going to the shower. However, we would still have a problem with this small section here, which is why one of our viewers is complaining about not using a double Y fitting. Now, even though I cannot find anywhere where it is not an approved fitting, I also cannot find anywhere where it says it is an approved fitting for a horizontal to horizontal connection. So with that said, in all fairness, there are other fittings I cannot find the exact verbiage for to allow them to be used in a variety of different situations. So again, to provide a little more slope, we're going to come off of here with a 45 and then come over here and then use a long 90 or a sweep fitting to come into the trap. So not too difficult. However, I would definitely check with your local building department to make sure that they would approve this type of setup and any other setups I'm using as examples in this video series. Now the last thing I want to mention if you didn't catch it in the video is that all we need to do to increase the slope in the double Y fixture is to increase the slope in the drain pipe that's going from the toilet through the double Y and then down to the 90 that turns and then goes down the wall. So that would be a simple fix to this situation if we had the room. And again, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And again, be nice, or should I say, as nice as you can.